this yellow lighting. This is doing wonders for my complexion. Um, hey, I'm in a new place. I'm in uh, Luxembourg. I basically just deeded, decided to not stay in Paris this weekend. I actually made the booking like a month ago. This is not a spontaneous trip. <clears throat> but it was a weekend that I had free. Uh, and I decided to check another country off the list. So, Luxembourg. I was, I try, generally I try not to read too much about a place before I go there. Because uh, I want to discover it. Um, but I did learn that um, Luxembourg, the entire population of Luxembourg is about 550,000 people for the whole country. My hometown is about 500,000, maybe a little bit less. Um, so this place is going to be cute. Um, I have little to no plan uh, for the weekend. I think there's supposed to be this castle that you can take a train out to, so I might do that tomorrow. Uh, when I have more time for traveling. It's about 1.30-ish right now. Um, so I don't want to like waste my daylight on a train today, so I think. Uh, first things first, I have to get... Um, I was so such a dummy when I packed this morning. I got my charging cords. I forgot my charging base. So all I have is USB things that don't plug into the outlets. Because I'm a dummy. Um, so I have to go and try to find an electronic store to get one. Um, and also, when I was getting out of the train, there were like a lot of people jostling and bustling. And my headphones got like ripped out of my ears and one of the little pads went flying. So I now have headphones that only fit one ear. <laughs> so I might try to find like a cheapo pair of headphones and then like either swap out the pad or whatever. Um... However, that being said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a cheapo thing, because apparently Luxembourg is expensive. And I kind of prepared for that by bringing some of my own food. <laughs> like, I just bought uh, basically supplies for an adult Lunchables thing. I have crackers and cheese and, and meat, and I have um, tomatoes and grapes, so I might just do a picnic somewhere. Um, but the, the number one goal is to find an electronic store and get myself situated. Um, and then I have, to, I might try to find like a walking tour in the afternoon if there is one. I'm not sure that there's going to be one though. Uh, which in that case I might just direct myself to the main like square and then just wander around there and see what I can do. Dunno, I for once have a hotel room when I'm traveling and not a uh, hostel room because there is, as far as I can tell, one like, youth hostel in Luxembourg City, and when I tried to book it, they did not have any availability for Saturday night. So it was either going to be, I stayed there on Friday night and then went to a hotel Saturday, or I just went for a hotel for both nights, and I was like, you know what, I'm a goddamn adult. Ish. Um, I can afford a hotel for two nights. It's not that bad. I booked it in advance. It wasn't last minute. It's fine. So I have a hotel with a TV! I can't remember the last time I've had a TV in front of me that wasn't, like, in somebody's actual residence. So, I might spend Friday night in a foreign country learning what Luxembourgish TV is. I don't know if that's the demonym. Luxembourgish? Luxembourgian? Luxembourg? No, that sounds... that's definitely not right. Um, my arm is getting tired, so I'm gonna put you down. Alright, task completed. I found electronics. Not as expensive as I was expecting. Decent. I even found a thing for my headphones, which is why I'm wearing them right now. And now I have decided to just head into the center and wander and see what I can find. Um, I didn't end up eating whatever food I brought with me um, at the hotel. Uh, I left it there, so I might, depending on what I find that isn't totally hack, um, I might try to find, she's watching, uh, I might try to find somewhere to get a little bite. But I don't know yet. Uh, in the meantime, look, I found a tiny little passage for going down, all the way down. Cause I guess Old Town is deep, deeper into the valley of the town. Like the newer built up town is higher up, so you gotta descend so we can. Oh, wait, I've learned this lesson before. I'm not supposed to have a camera out while I'm going downstairs because you're just gonna see my part. Really, so. I'm sorry in advance, it's windy. Turns out I was wrong. Going down the gorge, 
does not lead you to Old Town. It leads you to what was, I assume, a former moat. It has now been filled in with parking lots. <laughs> uh, the Old Town is actually up level with the rest of the city, so I'm a dum-dum. Uh, but it was a good little <laughs> exercise for the shins, I guess, to go down and then back up. So, whew. So I'm at um, <clears throat> the Palais de Justice, I think. Or, uh, Cour, uh, Cour Supérieure de Justice, I can't remember what it's called. I literally read it like 20 seconds ago and I've already forgotten. Uh, uh, government buildings. Very beautiful. Very pristine. Going over to the Overlook. Have like perspective. I don't know what I'm saying. Shut up. This is beautiful. It is unfortunately windier than I was expecting. Um, deal with it. For posterity, it's called the Cour Constitutionnelle. Con I can't talk. Cour Constitutionnelle. Cour Supérieure de Justice. Bam. All right, even more accurate. It's called the Cité Judiciaire, which means it includes the Cour Supérieure and all of that. It's basically government central. All right, guys, guesses. Who dat? Um, it's kind of a mean answer, because I, I know that it's sketched, it's etched onto the stone here. I can't quite make it out. Uh, Charlotte, Grand Duchess of some, something. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I wasn't directing at it. Charlotte, Grand Duchess. She's ar aristocracy. Uh, you know what? She's wearing a tiara. That makes sense. So, as I said, I try not to research a place too much before I go there, just because I want the surprise of it. But one of the things that I had heard about Luxembourg City is that there's a beautiful market place in one of the main squares. Turns out, not right now. <laughs> it's not the moment. That is okay. Date. Um, I took a little bit of a break in the one of the main squares and just read in the sun for a little bit because I was feeling like a lizard. Um, and then kept walking some more and found a church which is back there and an overlook which is here. And I think those are the casemates, cosmates. I do not know how to say it. Basically, like the old ramparts, kind of the walls of the city, I suppose. Don't quote me on that. I'm not on a tour. I'm making this up as I go. So, I think this is where you can just, here, just go into the casemates. Case, I have to say casemates for like a better pronunciation. Um, and then I guess you just kind of go like up and around and possibly down. Um, I will go as long as I can while not paying anything. So let's see. <laughs> is that way, apparently. London is that way. Berlin is that way. Uh, are these all Italians? Uh, Italian. Are these all European cities? <gasps> Washington is also that way. Okay. Okay. Literally all European and then Washington. Oh no. Beijing, China, Turkey, it kind of counts as European. Okay, three non-European cities. Cool. Um, I was wrong, again. Aha, I was right and then wrong. It is kind of is the casements. I found out that casement means um, window of a castle. So, yes and no. Like this, I believe. That's a case, well, so in English I think it's casement. And here it's branded as case mate or case mot. Case mot. Um, by the way, I am not crouching in this little tunnel, but um, uh, anybody slightly taller than me would be uncomfortable. But uh, this is what you see out of a case mate. It sounds like um, it's like the name of a like a kitchen tool. Uh, what do we call them? Um, when you go to the beach and you want to keep your drinks cold, cooler. So look at him with a cooler. We got there together. 
I don't know why. I'm really surprised that there's no like croquet game being played here with flamingos and rolled up hedgehogs. I, I, I really would not be surprised at all to see that happening in this little field. Okay, has played a significant role in European history. Define significant. Um, apparently, Luxembourg is, oh, it's lighting. Luxembourg is where they fought the Battle of the Bulge. That's one historical thing. I don't know any other ones. Oh, I'm not saying that it's not significant history, just that I don't know what it is. Yet. Okay, here's a significant history thing. This guy, can I see it on the screen? I think so. Robert Schumann. Sherman, Sherman, um, is somewhat the the instigator of the first part of the European Union. Is that what it says here? Uh, or something to that effect. He got a lot of the countries to like work together on um, like material like, creation and um, uh, 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 cooperation. I'm trying to get out of this so people can um, see it. Uh, basically, he was born in Luxembourg. Spoke Luxembourgish, but uh, is technically considered German because his father was a German national. So controversial, but they claim that they came from here. Significant. Okay, I have two things to talk about. Number one, this restaurant, cafe, whatever, is called Les Copains d'abord, um, Friends First, which tells a story in itself, not to mention the photos of the friends in the windows complete the story. I find that very charming. Second thing, the fuck? Like, what? You like, you can stand directly underneath him. Why? Oh no.